guys, welcome to a new episode of Bogan's Guide to Wine. I'm Sampy. Lurchy. And Mr. Blues, as always, up hey. back. Alright guys, this episode we've got something a little bit special. A little bit special. Mm. I don't know who named it first, mm. but uh, they'll name this wine after us or we named us after them. We are having the Bogan. Yeah, come on! Alright, this is from Kaisler. You think that's how that's pronounced? Kaisler? Kaisler. 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 And these guys are in the Barossa Valley, and uh, this is bottle 17,675. So that's right. where the other one's gone. <laughs> that's right. All right, so let's have a crack at this Bogan, see if it stands up to its name. All right. All right, well, initial uh, indications say it looks pretty bloody black. Which yes, is, it's black, yes. Which, which is another good Bogan indicator, that's great. That's arterial blood concentrated. It's got um, a little bit of a uh, slight bit of discrepancy between the edge of the meniscus, the meniscus, and uh, yeah, come on, not much. Not much. So, well, it makes me want to say it's probably about three or four years old. What about you? Mm, what it tells me is it's probably got three or four more years to go. Yeah. Yeah. Fair At enough. At least. Oh, well, there you go. This is uh, 2010. So 2010? There you go. Class. That's uh, a new little trick. All right, let's have a sniff of this sucker. I'm checking these legs out. There you go. All the oh, way yeah, from sorry, here. Guys, we didn't do the alcohol game, did we? All the way from here you go on to here you go. Okay, they're getting there. Yeah, they're dripping down. They're not terribly prolific, though, I don't think. They're not... They don't... They're not oh, too you know thick. what? I say 14 and a half every time. I'm going to say 15. 15? Yeah. Alright, well I'm going to say, that looks to me more like, jeez, honestly, it looks like a 13 and a half, but I'm going to say 14 because it is a Barack Barossa Shiraz, so I'm going to go 14. Let's see uh, what it says. I'm going to the back. That looks oh, like... It's 15%. Oh. There you go, well done, Lurchy. That's the first one in a while I got. Excellent, excellent. Oh. Alright, let's have a snell. Have a snell. A, a snell. Snell, snell! Ooh. Oh, that's got a nice, um, oh, I'm just thinking of a big velvet buddy lounge at the moment. I yeah, it's, uh, that's like, just smelling it, it's like drinking it through your nose, isn't it? It smells great, doesn't it? It's, uh, mm. it's really smooth, there's no sort of bite to it at all. It's, you can, you, like I say, you can almost, it's like tasting it. Oh, I'm assuming it's going to be like now, This has been decanted, yeah? Yes, I gave this a good... Uh, Four hours to canting. Four hours. Well, okay. Now, just to be okay, to be perfectly upfront, I have had this stuff before. Uh, I had it with a bunch of uh, Canadian friends when I was over at the uh, East Coast last year. They specifically bought it with me in mind. We thought, oh, this would be great. Tried it. I was amazingly disappointed because we just banged it straight into our glasses. Ah. And I just thought, ah. Oh. So you give it some now, love, open it up. That's what I thought. So we, I gave it a, at least three or four hours to canning. I pulled it out at about 11 o'clock this morning. What's time now? Any clue? Uh, it was about 10 past 2. 10 past 2. So it's had, a, you know, it's had a decent sort of chance to breathe. So, uh, yeah, it's got a bit more a bit more of a chance than what I gave it last time I gave it a nudge. Well, let's have a taste, eh? Yeah, bloody hell. Eh? Oh, smooth as a baby's ass. Yeah, no, that's... Uh, yeah, it's nice and juicy too. It's not a... Oh, there's that ping. Right at the end. You know what I'm getting from that? It's 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 like a, like a salami. Or some sort of... Uh, it's, it's definitely very meaty. There's some sort of... Meaty? Yeah, there's a, I'm getting a... I think I might have even got it on the nose a little bit, actually. There's that sort of might cured the, meat. Might be the leatheriness of it, or... Uh... Yeah, that could be it too. Actually, now here's a little interesting thing I noticed uh, on the back here. Shiraz fruit is sourced from the Kaisler vineyards planted in blah 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 blah. Wine is matured in 75% French oak and 25% American oak barriques. Oh. So they're those big suckers, aren't they? 25% new and the balance in two and three year old oak for a total of 15 months. So that sounds like they're juggling it around from barrel to barrel and doing all sorts of alchemy out there. So there's... Sounds like they know what they're doing. And I, I, from tasting that, I've got no doubt. No, yeah, it's, it's definitely got a... Uh... That just drips with 
class. Yeah, I, I was going to say, there's levels of sophistication there. It's, I don't know. I mean, that, that's, that's it's quite, a, it's a bit of a misnomer so. calling it Bogan because Bogan's rough edges, yeah. you know, all over the shop. And this is fine. This is yeah. This, this is, is uh, yeah. This is pretty uh, pretty damn nice. I'm happy with the name Bogan. That'll uh, that can stay as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm getting, I'm getting that. So when are you going to? Uh, well, okay. Now this, I think the price is reflective of the quality. So okay. With that in mind, what do you reckon a bottle of this would be worth? Um, if I was to walk into a bottle shop and expect to taste something like that, I'd say probably 70 bucks. 70 bucks, so well, you'll be happy to know that this is $55. 55? So well, it's, that's not it's, bad. it's a bit on that higher end of the, the scale of things, but it's. Uh, if you go in some place and you, you know that you've got a bunch of wine wanker friends that throw out $90, $100 bottles of wine, if you rock up with a bottle of this, you're going to Do be uh, in good company. That will be uh, a easy thing. Easy. All right, so out of 10, quickly, let's wrap this thing up. I'll give that a 9.5. 9.5. How many thumbs up does Mr. Blues give it? Double thumbs. So Two that's thumbs. A good thing. Yeah, that's definitely a... Uh... Oh, you know what? It's not far off a 10. I'm going to be a bit controversial. It's, 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 it's delicious, the tannins, that, but it's, I'm, I'm finding a little less excitement in it. So really? I'm going to go an 8. Oh, eight, no, actually, eight and a half. I'll give it eight and a half. If you give it eight and a half, I'm going to go ten then, bring the average. <laughs> Balance it back out to yeah. that good nine and a half again. All right, well, that's fair enough. So, good stuff. That's a win. Kaysler, thanks for sending us Great in. name. Bogan. The Bogan. The Bogan. So, till next time, this has been The Bogan's Guide to Wine. Get it in ya. Get it in ya. A bit of discrepancy between the edge of the meniscus and... G'day guys, welcome to a new episode of Bogan's Guide to Wine. I'm Sampy. And I'm Woochie. There you go. Mr. Blues, you snuck back up the back. Up the back? <laughs> Are you a backdoor boy? <laughs> Let's do that again. <laughs>